Rita says to AK, I followed your blog and started to the OA to SA monthly transfer in 2015. As my salary increased, I did VC of $3,000 per year to my MA. At the moment, I am $7,000 away from 2022 BHS and am $40,000 away from 2022 FHS. I'm 45 this year and have 24 months rainy day fund in my savings account. Recently put some of the rainy day fund into 6 months T-bills for 4.28%. I am able to fund my MA by three to $5,000 this year. Should I continue to top up my MA or use the money to buy SSB? Please talk to yourself on the following scenario. AK says to reader, wow. 2015. Time flies. 24 months of emergency fund is what I have too. Very prudent especially when already in your mid-40s. As you probably already know, I am not doing voluntary contribution to my CPF in 2023. Instead, I am channeling the funds to Singapore savings bonds. Singapore savings bond soundly beats the average return of 3% I would get from the CPF for doing voluntary contribution to my OA and SA. However, I will still be topping up my CPF MA in 2023 as that yields 4% per annum, which is much higher than the 10-year average yield offered by recent Singapore savings bonds. Yes, I will top up the CPF MA as it is a straight 4% interest rate, unlike voluntary contribution to OA and SA, unless Singapore savings bonds 10-year average yield exceeds 4%.